Hello and welcome to this week's edition of Grandma's Cookbook, where the recipe I picked for this week did not photocopy very well, as you can see here. And at first I thought I was making Pico Bulgaria's, but uh, upon further review and re assistance from others, I think these were Peekaboo Squares. So without any further ado, here is how you make Peekaboo Squares on this week's Grandma's Cookbook. In a large bowl, combine one half cup of margarine, which is a stick, with two cups of sugar. And cream, sugar, and margarine together. Now, mine ended up turning out kind of granular. That's probably because the margarine was still a bit cold, but I just went with it anyway. After it's been creamed, or sanded in this case, add four eggs to it, and then combine. Then add three cups flour and two teaspoons of vanilla. Combine that all together. Spread half of the batter in a greased 13 by 9 pan. Apologies for the aluminum pan I have. It's the only one I've got. Now, one thing you'll notice about this batter is it's pretty much cement and glue all combined into one. It did not want to cooperate in any way. It kept wanting to stick to itself. Took a lot of work, as you see here. Add one can of pie filling on top of that. And then on top of that, put the rest of your batter. Then bake in an oven at 350 degrees for 45 minutes. And presto. What does it taste like? Um, it essentially was a blondie. I think maybe next time when I do it, probably do room temperature, margarine, and maybe a different pie filling because the blueberry did not work very well with the blondie. Maybe next time I do raspberries or cherry. Thank you all for watching. And we'll see you next week with another edition of Grandma's Cookbook.